Namaste, I'm Aishita, and I'd like to start off by asking all the stunning ladies watching, how many of you travel by public transportation alone? And how many of you are comfortable doing so? And how many of you had to be accompanied by your brothers, relatives, or literally any other male? Isn't it ironic how men are expected to protect us from the literal gender they are? Anyways, flashback time. This one time, me and one of my friends wanted to go out to lunch, but she had no transportation. I just assumed she could take a cab or something, but her parents denied it. And looking back, I don't entirely blame them. I mean, cabs here can be a bit dodgy sometimes, and personally, I wouldn't prefer to travel in a cab alone. But when her younger brother wanted to go out later on in the day, he had no transportation as well. But his parents offered him the choice of taking public transportation alone. So it was evident to me that the only reason me and my friend couldn't go out that day was because of her gender. Now men also have an advantage in the transportation sector. Something must be done about the fact that victims are being restricted when they should feel equally treated and safe. So I started up by searching up the statistics. And then good old Google recommended me this site about women in the transportation sector. I was instantly intrigued. This was the beginning of my idea. Apparently, only 14% of the Uber drivers are female globally. So now, two things. One, women can't even drive safely or travel safely. And two, men just have more job opportunities. So what, did I, what do I want to do about it? Well, I want to start a cab company with strictly female passengers and female drivers. And yes, I've thought about the downsides about how the gap between the genders may increase more. But I think it's better to have a temporary solution to equalize freedom rather than wait around for empty promises to be filled. And this is causing some very capable women to be dependent on men. So now let's look at the positive side of my idea though. The females in the transportation sector will increase exponentially. According to Statista.com, out of 206 million driver's license that were issued in 2019, only 6.8% belong to females. So with a company like mine, the gender ratio in the transportation sector will equalize. And also, I've realized with the stereotype I mentioned earlier, women may not be comfortable going out of their comfort zone. So um, my cab company will also provide driving lessons to any of the women who volunteer. This would be like killing two birds with one stone. One, as I mentioned earlier, the gender ratio in the transportation sector will increase, equalize, and two, everyone will just feel more comfortable driving around, along with the prejudice around a woman's driving skills will slowly decrease. So now, I don't believe in the victim being more careful. I believe that we should be working together to stop or prevent the cause. So now I'd like to conclude my talk with addressing the females once again. If you had to, would you rather travel in a cab alone with a female driver or male driver? Let's make public transportation public once again.